What's up, guys? Iceman here. Welcome to the Diablo Research Institution. So, yeah, I started playing Diablo 4. And I did not get the expansion yet. I'm thinking about it. But you can log on right now to Season 6, and they have a lot of the changes already made. Like, there's the new Level 60 cap, which I really like. And everything else, you have the new part of the map that you can't access, but it's part of the expansion. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it. But check this out. So Frostburn Gauntlets are from Diablo 2, and they used to be this pretty cool item, right? In Diablo 2, they gave you 40% added to your maximum mana, which is just a crazy amount. But of course, things are kind of different now. And Diablo 3 had them as well. I can't remember what they did in Diablo 3. I think they cast like Frost Nova or something on Striking or something like that. But nonetheless, they're kind of interesting gloves. As you can see here, they roll other stats that you normally wouldn't get on gloves. These are unique gloves. I just found them. And by the way, my character is level 44 right now. 9.5% of crack speed. And that added to your minions as well. Here's the confusing part. It adds plus percentage to fire and cold damage or, as it says, 136.5% fire and cold damage, all right? And then it has some other cold attributes like uh, to go along with the Frostburn theme, of course, up to a 40% chance to deal 450 fire damage. That's pretty cool. Up to a 40% chance to deal plus 375 cold damage. Pretty cool, right? Now, does that apply to your mages? I don't really know. Other than that, you have a lucky hit, up to a 56% chance to freeze enemies for three seconds. Now, does that apply to your uh, minions as well? I don't know. Can any of you let me know in the comments below? But check this out. I'm in the training grounds right now, which is a great place to go to test out your numbers. and. You can go to game options, gameplay, and you can go to your, uh, just scroll down, and there's this whole combat text options, and you can check these boxes to show like your normal damage numbers, or your critical damage numbers, or even your overpower damage, which is pretty cool. You can show that as well. Your vulnerable damage. Right now, I just have the critical damage added here. So those are the only uh, things that are coming up. As you can see here, you don't see all these hits showing up because of course they're not all critical strikes i only have a critical strike chance of 20 percent so they're all hitting the dummy and we're seeing these numbers right so there's not like a dps calculator or anything but these are just the averages you know uh well not the averages the averages are what you have to try to gather from this which is kind of the fun part about it uh, we didn't have anything like this in diablo 2. so this is a cool thing that they have in diablo 4. We can go to these training grounds, you can hit the dummies, you can test out all your damage numbers and all that. And, uh, the damage numbers, you can select them to show up, as what I did. Uh, for a reason, when I started, they were all unchecked. I don't know if that's a new thing for Season 6 in the expansion. People were complaining about the numbers being all over the damn place. So when I started playing, the numbers weren't even there. But they can be useful, and uh, I like that option, how we can select the critical uh, damage, the overpower damage, and all that. But as you can see here, they're all hitting this motherfucker so with the necromance you can hold shift and hit c to open up your book of the dead and i only wanted to see my mage damage so what you can do to only resurrect your mages because of course generally and at its base you first summon your skeletal warriors and then your mages so the problem is you can't just have your mages out because you have to summon the damn warriors first unless if you sacrifice your warriors so that's what i just did here i, I sacrificed them and of course, it gives you an attribute. Uh, in this case, your critical strike chance is increased by 10%. So that's pretty cool. So uh, more way for this, this uh, bit of research I'm doing right here because I need them to critical strike a lot. Here's all the hits. Now we're dealing with small numbers right now, of course. So with these gloves on, let's look at the damage. What are you guys seeing here? 231, 236, 265. That's the highest, 270. 305, that's the highest. 318, that's the highest. All right, 318. Do we have a winner? No, 414, I don't know what the hell that was. Was that overpower or something? 
But let's just go by the yellow numbers. The gold number, I thought that was overpowered, but I don't have the over overpower box checked. So can any of you let me know in the comments what the hell was that orange number? Uh, my overpower is only a 3%. Right now, see this? Overpower chance, 3%. Overpower damage, 69%. Critical strike chance, 20%. Critical strike damage, 50%. And again, I don't have the damn overpower box checked. So what the hell was that orange number? Can anyone help me out with that? I mean, look at this. I only have the critical damage checked, all right? So I don't know what the hell that orange number is. But okay, so we had 318. Now, let's switch out the gloves with something that doesn't have that cold damage, fire damage bullshit going on. In which case, we'll just pop these on. Let's pop them on. So we saw 318. What numbers are we seeing now? 272, 240, 241, 281. Oh shit, there was an orange number. It was 515. Oh my god, we just saw 308. It doesn't seem like it's doing anything. 329, that's higher. Okay, we 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 achieved higher. 329, 578 orange damage. Holy shit. But what the hell is the orange damage? Okay, so what I tried to do. I mean, I thought the frost burn would favor fire and cold and shit, right? That's why I hired the cold mages. I have cold mages out right now. And I have this little node selected where cold mages attacks apply vulnerable for four seconds, right? But I mean, it doesn't seem to be doing shit for them, these frost burns, because those were complete ass numbers. You know, I mean, is it even helping at all? I'm sure it's helping to some extent, but here's here's what's most important in this video. Here's without any gloves. Another thing that I found was a pair of gloves that has plus one to skeletal mage mastery. All right. And of course, with legendary things and rare things, which you never are going to use, but legendary things you're going to use, you can temper these, you know. And you can't temper uniques. Now, this is kind of old information, obviously. I mean, I thought that these were going to be helpful, but what the hell's going on here? Do the, does it not apply to the minions? Is this a glitch? Why the hell wasn't this 136% fire and cold damage applied to the mages? They're doing cold damage. But okay, so here's still no gloves. But now, let's pop these suckers on. Boom. Boom. Plus 1 to Skeletal Mage Mastery and 24% Skeletal Mage damage. Now check this out. 345. We already hit higher. And this is the highest we've hit yet. 343. Another 340s. 328. 566. Another 328. 328. Another 328. 337. Let's not count the orange damage. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is. Can anyone help me with that? What's the orange damage? But nonetheless, the orange damage was 667 right there. But okay. I mean, it seems like we found a winner. And here's the thing. With Skeletal Mage Mastery, check this out. I I don't know if that... I thought it used to only give 15%. Now it gives 20% per rank. I'll take one away. Boom, now it's 60%. I'll add one to it. Boom. Now it's 80%. And of course, it's four out of three. Because uh, I'm plus one with the gloves. Now, I think this is uh, applies uh, after your multipliers or some shit. Isn't that how it works? Unless if they change that up, I'm not entirely sure. These guys are 15%. So the warriors are 15%. The mages are 20%. Okay, I think that's, I think that's standard. We're going to do some testing with the warriors as well. There's some interesting things that you can do with them, but... It's a pretty big deal. You know, having the plus one skeletal mage master on the gloves. Now, these are only... 462 item power. I don't know if the Ancestrals, once again, can give plus three to Skeletal Mage Mastery or plus two. I think it's plus two is always the max, but if you keep master working it, I think in some cases you get plus three, which would be godly. But it's just, it's interesting. These are plus one, and that's the min and max is one, as you can see here. Like with the damage, with the, with the life, it shows 11 to 13, and I rolled 11. But with the Mage Mastery, it shows plus one, and it only shows one in the little parentheses side brackets. So that's the max you can get on these ones. I don't know if the Ancestral's ones roll high or not. Let me know what you guys think about the Frostburn gloves. 
Let me know if you're playing Diablo 4. Like this video if you will, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace be with you.